Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use custom CSS to change the color of your social media icons on a hover. These are specifically the social media icons available in the header of your Squarespace website, and we're going to use just a little bit of custom code to change the color of the icon and the color of the background specifically on a hover. As always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but let's hop on into my demo site so I can show you how they work and what parts you're going to want to change. Alrighty, here we are in my demo site, and a quick mention, these are the global desktop elements. These are not mobile. This is a hover effect, so this is happening for these desktop icons. If you don't see these on your website, hop into edit mode from any page and select edit site header. Under this menu that pops up, you can select the elements option and toggle on social links. You can list any social media platform you want to. At the time of recording this, Squarespace has 35 specific icons available, but you can also link to a blank page or an email address if you want to have the envelope on there as well. Any social media links you want, add them right here. Scrolling back here, this little toggle option can reduce the size or increase the size of those icons. So adjust that until it looks perfect for your own website. And one last time, that's in edit mode. Select edit site header, hop into elements, and toggle on social links. All right, now that you have those enabled, let's play with some codes. I'm gonna to navigate to design and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS. I want to install my code here because these icons are now visible on every page of my site. So the first code right here is going to change the color of the icons on a hover. I'm copying this out of my demo site here, but again, it's in the description below. Now scrolling up here, I'll paste that code and what it says is header actions, action social icon, on a hover, take that SVG icon and fill it with orange. So now when I hover over those icons, they change color. Now they're a bright orange. Now I use the web safe color name orange, but you can also use a hex color code if you'd like to. This is one of my favorite shades of teal. And now we'll notice those icons change to a teal. You can also use an RGBA or HSL, whatever color code you wanna use. Now scrolling down, I've got one more code for us and that's to change the background of those icons on a hover. I'm gonna paste that code right here. And now when we hover over the icons, they have a background color of orange, which also makes them stand out. And if you wanna use both of them at the same time, you absolutely can. Right after the word orange for our background here, I'm just gonna add a semicolon and I'm gonna say fill and we'll make it a solid white color. And we'll say exclamation point important. So our code will be prioritized over any other code out there. Now when I hover over the icon, it'll have an orange background and a solid white icon color. Whatever you decide to go with, just make sure you select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. And again, those codes are listed in the description below. Just make sure you update that color code so it matches the style of your own website. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.